I'm still staffing. <laughs> yeah, man. Crazy shit, man. Hear that? <laughs> Listen. Goddamn gun. Look. So these goddamn cracker ass nah, let me back up. Don't say that about them, man. <sighs> these people running this shit here. Good old boys basically really truly man yeah. And uh that that motion I filed, man, way back in hell, yeah, I guess it was February the eighth. Yeah. Yeah, one year to do it, and I realized what it was and what it was about. And I got it filed, you know, one day before my deadline. First time I come up, about a couple of days before, three days, four days before the court date, I get a motherfucking thing, and you know, oh, they served me at my house, man, um, with papers that I owe $250 for these sanctions because of this goddamn shit that I guess I didn't file something exactly right, or he had to do something to correct. Anyway, <laughs> And instead of motherfucking Bruce paying the motherfucker, right? Because that's his lawyer. He takes sanctions up and makes me pay the 250. Now, Bruce, and he works for Bruce, so goddamn it, Bruce says, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? So, but it was the day of the hearing. So, boom, they locked me up, man. I got out about 12. And they continued the motherfucking hearing. Okay? Because I won't, because I, he can do that if I'm incarcerated, I guess, on that shit. I don't know. So I'm coming up, man. I got this fucking shit finally. Finally, it's been hell. Got it, and got the court date coming up, man, motherfucking Monday, right? It's a motion 60B to, to vacate the motherfucking sentence, man, because boom, 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 and it should be done. What would have been done on the 10th of fucking uh, August, way back in 2000, man? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Bruce has done nothing, man. But, you know, so now guess what? This motherfucking shit happens, man. And about yesterday or the day before? Yeah, the day before yesterday in the evening. I get served with goddamn papers. And guess what? $500 sanctions because of some goddamn shit that um, I don't know. I, I'll know when I get to court. I can't imagine. It's going to be some bullshit. You know, it's going to be some bullshit. And now um, they're, they're going to catch me and they're going to lock me up. You know what I'm saying? Just like they did last time. You know? And continue that part of it. And then I get, and I got to go through it and jump, man. Come on, man. And something I've done in between all this is something ain't right. I, I guess. I don't know what he's trying to do. I, I think it's because he thinks, because this will be the first time I ever went up there, man, and turned my goddamn self in. And I know what I'm going to, I know I'm going to jail today. Motherfucker, <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh man, what the hell? No, god damn it. Do your job, god damn it. I can't do it for you. But see, I got that hearing, and if I don't show up for that hearing, man, then they got the right to throw that shit the fuck on out shit. You know what I'm saying? So they, and so fuck it, man. I'm gonna go, you know? Fuck it. I'm going. It's all it. So last time I didn't, man, it was, didn't, well, it was let, man, I, I knew I could get out last time, right? This time I really don't know. It's right here at Christmas, man, you know? You know, my family ain't got no money like that. They really, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know how that goes. Anyway, fuck it. I'm going up there, right? Fuck it. I'm going the fuck up there, man. And um, hopefully, man, I can... But, hey, guess what? I talked to a goddamn reporter. <laughs> it's crazy. And finally, I reported the guy went back up and I sent him every damn thing, man. He was like, took my name and shit. And then I'm like, cool, dude. I said, please help, man. You know, I told him about the sanctions, man. Like, I think that got to him. Because <laughs> he's like, goddamn, you ain't got the fucking money for an attorney. But your dad's lawyer's making you pay 250 and 500 because he's saying these. But I'm not an attorney. I'm pro se. I'm doing the best I can. Doing the best I can, cause, cause you can read it and know it. You know what I'm saying? Know, know the truth. Know, know the what the fucking statute says and all that. But when you go to file it, man, it's the emotions and there's so many emotions and you gotta file shit the right fucking way, or it ain't, cause it's you're filing something that's not designed. Excuse me, designed to necessarily get what you're asking for. You feel me? The relief thing, right? Hey, man, it's tricky like that, dog. I was like a deer in the fucking headlights, man. 
But but I know I got one right. Because of man, he's the best lawyer in fucking this area, right? And I just happened to see that motherfucker man walking down the sidewalk because I didn't know what to do. Clerk Corey ain't gonna tell you much nothing. So I'm walking out like, what is my next move, you know, when I didn't make it there to get back in front of the judge. And man, Jack O'Hill was there. And I said, sir, and I just broke it down to him, man. I, I was like, boom, 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 boom. And all I want from you, sir, I know I can't afford you, but I don't know what to do. Can you just point me in the right direction? What, what do I do right now? For, and the rest is on me. And he said, go in there, file the motion to modify the um, custody, visitation, whatever, hearing that they had because of, and explain why you was, wasn't there. You have a good, you have a good, I mean, goddamn, you've got a reason that would be, you know, obtainable. Even he don't know that, but he just tell me what to do. I know it would be obtainable, right? So, yeah. And then, uh, and then show that you want to show the evidence that you would have presented if you had not, if you had been served notice of a fucking hearing, in other words, because of, God damn, why wouldn't I want to be there? God damn, I get my kid back because he ain't got shit. Feel me, man? Yeah, he did that shady goddamn shit, man. It made me think that, you know, it, man. man, you know, and I knew right then, though, when they cheated like that, man, I was like, they, they something I can dig in this motherfucker and, and find and shit and, and, but it's been two years, man. Over two years, probably a little bit over two years, man. And um, I still ain't, <sighs> damn it. I still ain't been heard, man, on that original part. Because they went to permanent and done away with some, And, man, you can have temporary hearing as many as you need, man. But I didn't know that. I just thought, man, fuck, man. Hell. That's 10 days after I get hit in the head with, hey, I'm taking you guy again. And, and, and I get this paper, and they're talking about, my, son, my son's been raised, for, he's raised my son for the last six years. I have done nothing. <laughs> Lisa has not seen the baby in seven years. I mean, shit, that man, <laughs> I've showed it before. Fuck it, man. It's on, I've showed what the hell he said, you know? And, uh. Then they ruled me fit, and I didn't. I didn't know this. I didn't know that if you have the best interest of the child, it's not really based on. Um, I mean, it's it's based on being fit, right? Um, but if a non-parent is trying to get your kid, then the best interest of the child really can't be used because if the father is fit, then the non-party or non-parent has no standing. It must be proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that that parent or whoever it is or parents are both unfit before they can even be considered and then, then, then there's still a best interest on test involved yeah most of the time yeah man so you know how that goes um, man, man hey man peace to everybody out there people that follow me around watching in my videos and shit man I wonder hell what the hell happened to motherfucker. Oh man. You know what though, man? I mean, the truth's the truth. And I just gotta keep I just got I just gotta just keep trudging and just keep trudging along. I would say trucking, but it's more like trudging. Um but I know that it's happening, it's going to happen, because like I say, man, um, I got a, a, this reporter on this thing now. Oh yeah, and uh, this lady I know, she went through the divorce, I helped her out with a little bit of things, you know, and everything, and she finally just wrote a damn judge or something, and he sent it to um, the Bar Association and made sure she got an investigator, right? Because she was married to the Mafia family right here, to be honest with you, that's the fucking facts. You know, she was beautiful back in the day. Goddamn, boy. She's still fucking a nice-looking lady, man. She's got age on her, feel me? But, um, you know, she's a dependent spouse, man. So, and they fucking tried to... So I helped her out a little bit. Well, this agent came down, or this investigator came down and talked to her, and he wants me to go along with her when we talk about the shit. And, uh, and he's going to take my goddamn motherfucking 60B, man, that I fucking presented and ain't never been heard of. And he's going to read it and see what he thinks about it. And so that's why I'm making this video, man, because I ain't made none in uh, a long time. And you can't see me because I'm a, I'm a wreck. <laughs> I ain't turning the damn camera around because um, it's been like that. Nah, fuck it. What's up, y'all? Um, yeah. I'm out.
Hey, I think, I think, man, it's coming to an end, though, right? Peace.